You know that living in the wild is a rather tough thing, and having a secret weapon is really good help. That's why the great number of representatives from Animal Kingdom have secret abilities to get them marvelous benefits for survival. So today, I'll show you the coolest of them. Get ready to admire! California ground squirrels are little rodents with gray or light brown fur. They inhabit central Washington, western Oregon, California, and the northern part of Baja, California. And as all little creatures, this animal has to obtain something for protection. California ground squirrels have it too. This cutie chews on the molted skins of one of its main predators, the rattlesnake, and after that licks itself all over. The aim is to apply the scent of a snake to its body. As scientists say, it is not typical behavior for vertebrate animals. They usually use visual camouflage, but this tiny guy uses the scent to cheat the rattlesnake and sometimes he succeeds. Just imagine, you are locked in a house and don't know how to get out. There's only one way. Try to turn into a liquid to slip under the door, but you can't. Here is one animal that can. The sea cucumber is a real master of turning its body into a huge puddle. It has an ability to turn its tissue from solid into liquid, and it allows it to slip into cracks and rocks in the seabed. Besides, this crazy thing can eject its internal organs. It grows them a bit later when it is necessary. I'm sure you have heard the name salamander, but do you know who axolotl is? This is a larval stage of one of the salamander species, and it has several unique abilities. Salamanders, like other amphibians and insects, are supposed to go through a process known as metamorphosis. It means that they change form completely different when growing up, but axolotl doesn't do that. It becomes reproductive and growing, staying in larva stage during all its life. Another cool ability is to regenerate body organs and lost limbs. This amphibian can grow back its lost limbs in only a few weeks. Besides, it can even regenerate its lungs, heart, spinal cord, and parts of its brain. As scientists found out, axolotl can regrow the same limb up to five times. Then it stops. So it seems to me being this amphibian is rather cool. The next animal, being one or two inches long, can compete with many big and dangerous ones. These tiny creatures, called the pistol shrimps, carry with them an impressive weapon that can discharge powerful underwater bullets capable of killing bigger prey. The shrimp has an enlarged claw that looks like a boxing glove. The claw creates a cavitation bubble that reaches speeds up to 62 miles an hour and collapses with a loud snap. The snap of the bubble also produces short bursts of light. When the bubble collapses, it reaches temperatures of over 5,000 Kelvin. It is almost as hot as the surface of the sun, which is around 5,800 Kelvin. Of course, this astonishing ability is also part of hunting strategy. You know that salmon are born in rivers and live there an early part of their existence. Then they travel hundreds or thousands of miles into the open ocean, where they spend most of their adulthood. But how can they make such a complicated voyage? Scientists have learned that salmon just use Earth's magnetic field to navigate during this long migration. The fish consult regional magnetic fields to determine the best course. They have a kind of a map in their brain and, of course, it's a part of their instincts. Salmon use this so-called inherited magnetic map so they don't need any previous knowledge of their migration path or location. They don't lose that ability through several generations of fish even after they have been transplanted into some landlocked places. I think you have seen the goats climbing vertical rocks. How do they do that? Alpine Ibex mountain goats just are amazing. They can climb super high on really steep cliffs like it's nothing. But they have to develop such an ability through generations because they use these extreme heights of their mountain homes for protection from predators. Their greatest predators are bears, wolves, cougars, and golden eagles, which can catch and take away their kids. So they need to hide properly. And the earlier you start learning to walk along the rocky cliffs, the better. Little mountain goats start climbing with their parents when they're just days old. Usually, mountain goats on high above 10,000 feet. They go down to lower territories during the spring and summer, but come back to their mountaintops to overcome the long winter. Just think, 
mountain goats can go up at angles above 60 degrees and pull themselves up with just one hoof. Millipedes are gorgeous creatures and they have many great specific features. Just look at those legs. But millipedes are exciting for another reason. Many species create and use chemical weapons against their enemies. For example, dragon millipedes can shoot cyanide at their predators. The shocking pink dragon millipede to be precise. And yes, that's its real name. And its bright pink color shows that this creature is extremely dangerous. It means stand back because I can shoot cyanide. They even give off the smell of almonds associated with cyanide. There are 23 species of dragon millipedes, but the shocking pink millipede is the largest of them. Lyre birds are not only very beautiful, but they have a very cool ability among birds and other living beings. These cuties can imitate any sound they hear, including camera shutters, chainsaws, and car alarms. and it is only males that are so talented. They are like human rock stars, using their best sounds to attract and impress the females. Leerbird songs are just like a mix of their own unique calls, songs they've learned from older males and the sounds of other species. Actually, they have been heard mimicking up to 20 different bird species. Sometimes they're so good that they fool the bird they're imitating, and it is a really working mating strategy. The more varied the repertoire, the more attractive the male leerbirds seem to girls. Platypuses are one of the strangest animals in the world, with their bird-like bill, flipper-like limbs, and flat, beaver-like tail. But did you know that platypuses have a sixth sense? It is electrolocation, the sensitivity to electrical signals in their prey's muscles. Swimming in the rivers of Australia after dark, the platypus closes its eyes, nose, and ears. In search of food, the creature relies on supersensory organ, its bill. It is packed with three distinct receptor cells that help the platypus detect movements and casual electrical fields produced by its prey. Pushrod mechanoreceptors detect changes in pressure and motion, and two types of electroreceptors track the electrical signals produced by the muscular contractions of the small prey. So, this ability makes the platypus super efficient. Are you impressed? Write down in the comments what you think about it and tell me what ability you would like to have. See you next time.